Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Ren Dog coming at you from just outside Grand Mole Hall Station and the freaking Dogolith in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.3 survival series. In the previous episode, we were starting construction of the Lakeside Villa, and then in this episode, I have come back to the Mole Hall to get some more resources to carry on building the Lakeside Villa. And uh, guys, I also wanted to come and get a couple of asses onto the Dogolith. So before we continue with this episode, let's look who's been added to the Dogolith from. Dogcraft.net, we've got Troy Kalo. Welcome to the Dogolith, buddy. Jackman Crazy, Gareth Gold, and Fire Ass in. <laughs> Welcome to the Dogolith, guys. And from YouTube subscribers, we've got T Town 1944, Danny Watts, Lanch Hedgehog, and Thunder Monkey One. Sweet name, Thunder Monkey One. And still from YouTube, we've got L Wolf87, LOL Rosemel, and Gamer Dat Gamer. And Pugged Nun 8. Welcome to the Dogolith, my friends. Forever immortalized in the freaking internet and in my freaking Minecraft series, guys. Whew, man. So let's get on to business. The Lakeside Villa, guys. And let me tell you, you guys have been giving me the most epic freaking advice that I, I could get from any freaking Minecraft community, man. I love you guys so, so much. Um, man, one of you guys mentioned that we haven't slept in about 50 episodes. And... God damn, am I tired, man. I'm going to hit the sack, get rid of this freaking night time, Whew. Mm. and then we're going to get busy, getting busy crafting the Lakeside Villa. Whew. Man, morning has broken. Mm. Let's get crafting, guys. And um, a lot of you guys have given me, given me major hints about sandstone and how to make better sandstone blocks. And look what I freaking discovered because of you guys. This sandstone block, how sweet is this block? It is awesome. It is smooth sandstone, which you get from uh, putting together four bits of sandstone, you see? So it's very, very easy to get, man. And it is a very sweet block, and I can't wait to show you guys the work that I've been that I have done on the Lakeside Villa. So I have done a little bit of work off camera guys. Um, one of you guys a lot of you guys have mentioned in the comment section that if we're gonna watch the entire Lakeside Villa being built, um, it is gonna take about 10 episodes because it is a massive undertaking. By far my most ambitious project to date. So I have been doing some crafting off camera, but um, I hope you guys already look at that. Oh, that is, oh, every time I come around the corner and I see that, a little tear wells up in my eye. It is looking beautiful, people. So, guys, you can see I've been using the smooth sandstone along here to create this these edges. And um, I have used the normal sandstone blocks, which turn into this texture when you pile them on top of each other and have this straight um, stair texture when you don't pile them on top of each other. It's a kind of weird thing with sandstone blocks, but... Look at that, guys. Let me know what you think, man. It is looking freaking sweet. So I have been trying to get a whole Roman feel to this whole thing. And one of you guys pointed out that it's starting to look more um, <laughs> more Japanese than Roman. And that is true. Um, but we're gonna we're just going to crack on, man. We're going to carry on trying to get a Roman feel to it. And I don't know. Can you actually make steps out of this, this business? You can. So that is good news. Um, I'm going to head up to the roof there to see if we can finish off the roof. So what I'm trying to do up there, guys, um, I'm just going to put some of this stuff down because, man, we have got a lot of JS. I brought a whole bunch of glass. I brought some ladders over also. I just went back to the mole hole to get some some stuff because we were, um, I needed more iron. I need to make a couple more tools. So uh, I went over to get some more iron. And what I'm trying to do here is keep a, a gap there in between there, right? Because uh, that's kind of like a, a Roman style. Where's my dirt gone? There we go. Um, you'll see what I mean when we get up there and I'm just gonna finish that off now um, man it is looking so sweet and I'm having so much fun crafting the Lakeside Villa because this is a very different um, task to anything I've done in the series so far because this is a, literally an aesthetic project right I'm literally just doing this f for aesthetic reasons um, and it's very very different to everything else I've done in the series and it's way, it's very, very challenging. In fact, I'm finding it very, very challenging to, um, to do, but I'm freaking enjoying it so much, man. It is so sweet. I'm trying to like get these things to look really awesome. Um, how we, how do we do this? There we, no, what, what the jazz? Um, what the freaking jazz, man? 
let's see there we go all right so that's probably going to look a little bit better um we'll go we'll go to the end of the road in a moment man it feels good to be working during the day i i never seem to work during the day which is probably really silly of me but as you can see what i'm trying to do is make like um a little space in here with um, torches like this right and it's going to sort of illuminate this very dark um, exterior part over here sorry torch we're going to take you out for now and we're going to fill this up solidly so that we don't get any spawns up here but the idea here is to have a, a small space when you look through this triangle here around the corner you will be looking straight into um, darkness and it's kind of just inspired from Roman buildings because, I mean, I don't even know if it's true if it's true or not, but it's, I think that it's just, that's the Roman buildings that I've seen anyway um, have that sort of style to them. And, man, that is not working. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter because um, you, you will never actually see this block, so that's cool. I don't mind that. Right, let's go to the end of the road and have a look at what it looks like now that I've finished it. Blam! Get rid of this jazz. Right, let's get to the end of the road, turn back and have a look at what it looks like. Ah, oh, beautiful. Mm. Man, that is looking very, very... That's exactly what I wanted it to look like, right? Look at that, man. Ah, oh, but we can actually see a little bit of wood up there. We've gone too far on the wood. Um, so let's get back up there. Man, we've got like scaffolding and stuff everywhere. Man, it is a challenge building this, man. Seriously, I, I wish there was some sort of elevator system maybe that you could use. That would be very sweet. So we can actually see up here. Um, Alright, there we go. Nice. Very nice indeed. And we will finish this off later. So here is the staircase, guys, from a different perspective. I've now completed the other branch of it. Um, and I must say, it is looking sweet. Mm. Now, what I was thinking is to carry on going up like this and then have another floor up here that's going to connect here and then have a pool up here because I wanted to have like a pool room on the top of the hill. So um, I think what I'm going to do is carry on building the staircase up until the middle here. And then this staircase is just going to um, platform over here. So the staircase is, isn't going to be entirely symmetrical, but I'm doing it purposefully. Um, I, that's exactly what I want. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building the glass walls around the entertainment area. Um, and I'm also going to start, I, I don't know whether to build, I don't know whether to build the this round thing out of bricks or to, to build it out of glass. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure at the moment. But what I am going to do in the middle here is create like, um, th this is actually, there's nothing underneath, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, I want to create like a, a water feature in here somehow, either having water pouring out along the side here um, or something like that, man. I'm not actually entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, but what I'm going to what I'm going to do now is just carry on building the staircase upwards. Um, just it's just going to sort of go around there, and I think I will do it. Um, off camera I'll stop recording now and then start recording once it's done and we'll bring you guys back again once the jazz is done um, so by the magic of the internet I will see you back here in one second all right guys we are back and I have completed the staircase and you can actually see the mole hole in the background there guys check it out when this is completed the lakeside villa you're going to be able to see the outpost in that direction and the mole hole in that direction and the the bridge over there you're going to be able to see all of the constructions which is absolutely amazing i'm so happy about that um anyway guys just wanted to show you we have now finished the staircase it might not um i i might need to fix a couple things on it you can see it's it's some it's at some points it's looking a little bit weird like over here for example um i think we probably need another block in here but man this is this has been a challenge let me tell you guys to try and make this look good uh, there we go. Now, up here is where the roof is going to start. This might be a little bit too high, but we will see once we uh, build the roof um, up there. So that's going all the way up there, you can see. And the idea is that that is going to come out onto the roof and there's going to be a pool up there uh, that you're going to be able to get to. Man, with the moon in the background, this is just the sweetest construction ever, man. I am enjoying this so freaking much. It's unbelievable. So I think what we're going to do 
is head up in this direction and just get a feel of where the actual roof is going to start. Um, man, we need a, a little bit more freaking dirt for this business, man. Um, there we go. So, guys, oh, man, I just I can't reiterate enough how grateful I am to you guys for all the comments you've been giving me about the Lakeside Villa. So many of you have been giving me such amazing um, hints and tips about what to do with the Lakeside Villa. And guys, I just, I can't thank you enough for it. It's just been, it's just been really amazing feedback from you guys, man. Thank you so much. And uh, keep it coming. Um, a, a lot of you guys mentioned building windows, for example. Um, which I think is a genius idea, and you can see that it's broken up the, 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 the size of those front walls a lot. You know, it's, it's taken away the... It, it's opened up the space a lot, I think. It's making it look a lot better. Um, right, so this is going to be... This is the roof, right? But it looks like it might be a little bit too... A little bit too low. Well, not necessarily, man. We can... It's going to go up there and because I want this to sort of come up out of the of the roof. Yes, it's going to come out of the roof, right? And then up onto the roof and there's going to be a pool up on the roof. So that is going to be awesome. Um, I'm, I'm happy with that. I think we're going to stick with that. Um, I think I'm going to set the roof down now, actually. Using um, these bricks over here. The sandstone brickage. Get the brickage in the AS. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think what we're going to do is kick into super fast forward mode while I get the brickage done of the roof. Just going to do the outline for now. Um, so in 3 to 1, 3, 2, 1, let's kick into fast forward mode. Come on! Alright guys, we are back from fast forward mode and as you can see we've run out of freaking sand. Um, I knew it was going to take a lot of sand to complete this freaking lakeside villa man. Um, but that's cool, we've got a beach just around the corner there actually. Um, so we're probably going to go and, and hit that beach now to, to mine a little bit more sand. But man, it is starting to look freaking sweet. Let us get rid of these foundation um, blocks over here. Just like this. Clean this up a bit. Um, I mean, there's loads, there's loads and loads of cleaning up to do. Enderman! Do not lick him in the face like I did last time. <laughs> that was close. I actually almost did lick him in the face. Um, whoa. That was a teleport. Oh, you are getting way too close to my lakeside villa, you bastard. It is time to suit up. I'm gonna take it down to Chinatown. Oh, you do not come into the lakeside villa and think you can get away with it. But bandit. You're about to take it to the AS! Come on! Come at me, bro! Come at me! Come at me! Come at me! Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like that, you little bastard? That's what you get if you come near the Lakeside Villa, man. <laughs> man, that was some sweet ownage. Oh, look at that view, man. Oh, this is just... This is just such an epic location for the Lakeside Villa too. Um, right, let us just make a couple of... Er, to you too, sir. Don't you come near my ass. I'm kick your ass. Um, I'm just going to make a couple of spades. And by a couple, I mean about five. And the sun is coming up, man. Zombies, you can scream all you want, but you're about to roast. So I'm going to go and mine a little bit more sand. As you can see, there's a, a huge beach around here. Let's head into the sunset. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. But guys, um, the, as you can see, the Lakeside Villa is starting to take shape. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It is looking absolutely amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this episode and enjoyed what I've done with the entrance to the Lakeside Villa. I'm very, very proud of what it's starting to look like. And yes, I agree. Maybe it doesn't exactly look 
like a Roman villa or <laughs> anything to do with Rome. In fact, it certainly does look a lot more Japanese than anything else. But um, I'm okay with that, man. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you cyber dogs pointed out that it's this lakeside villa is in the weirdest place because it's literally at the border of a jungle and taiga biome. And that means that it's freaking snowing on the beach. <laughs> I mean, this is like the coldest beach holiday house that I've ever seen <laughs> or ever <laughs> ever been to so it's it is like the weirdest location ever um, and I will be talking to the tourist the tourism board of Rentopia to make sure that prices are exorbitantly high if you want to come and stay at the lakeside village just for its unique location um, but guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival, building the Lakeside Villa. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, show me the love by hitting that like button, guys. If you are new to the series, welcome to the Cyberdog Pack. Why not hit that subscribe button to make sure that you're keeping on track with all the new videos from me, your host, Rendog. And of course, if you haven't, even, if you haven't got a YouTube channel, now's the time to make one. And why don't you name yourself some sort of a, of a dog? So if your name is Brett... You could call yourself Brett Dog. Or if your name is Ham, you could call yourself Ham Dog, for example. And that'll show everyone that you are a part of the Cyber Dog community, guys. And if you want to get closer to the Cyber Dogs, visit dogcraft.net. It is a free community website for the Cyber Dogs, guys. We are hanging out there. You can come and meet me and other Cyber Dogs and just talk about Minecraft and other sweet ass stuff. We've got live chat, we've got an arcade there full of sweet ass games, and we've got a virtual shop where you can spend the money that you gain by um, participating in the forums on sweet ass loot, um, like diamonds and gold and all that sort of jazz. Man, go find out for yourself, dogcraft.net people. And uh, man, it has been a pleasure playing with you guys. Can't wait to get started on the next episode uh, where we are going to be continuing the construction of the Lakeside Villa. Guys, almost episode 100. I hope you're ready. It's going to be a special one. We'll see you in the next freaking video, guys. This is Rendog signing off. Give me a high five. See you later.